Hello everyone, I'm Bill Baroff. I'm the president of Moto Nation. We are the exclusive CD boot importer for the USA, Canada, and Mexico. And I'm holding here today CD's all new Crossfire 2 SR boot, manufactured in Italy by CD, who has uh, been making motorcycle boots since 1960. So it's an ex extremely long established company that uh, has quite a history of technical innovation. You'll see many things on this CD boot that you might see in other boots, but usually those features that you find in common originated in a CD boot. It's a very, uh, uh, a very technical product that uh, draws a lot of attention from riders and our competitors and they uh, tend to uh, borrow uh, some of its features time and again. Let, let me point out some of the, the bigger highlights. As you can see, there's a lot going on with this boot, so there, there could be a lot to talk about. Um, but the main features of the, of the CD Crossfire 2 SR is its dual hinge system. You can see it has under this black cover its main hinge. And then up here, a secondary hinge that just gives a little bit. Uh, the hinge obviously uh, gives a support system to the boot and the rider's ankle. The secondary hinge was added as a comfort feature uh, for those riders using knee braces or thicker knee pads. It really improves the comfort level of the boot tremendously and the fit around the rider's pants. It, ha it reduces the amount of friction when you have the whole boot on and strapped onto your leg. You, you think about it, you have your socks, you have your knee brace, you have your pants, then you have your boot. All of those systems together are going to create a little bit of friction. This double hinge system alleviates some of that and makes for a more comfortable ride. One of the most copied aspects of, of, uh, of boots is this CD buckle system. It's called the cam lock system. Um, CD's had it and been using it for a pretty long time, 15, 18 years. I'm not exactly sure anymore. And if you look around, you'll see a lot of other companies have utilized this, this simple buckle system. It's very trouble free. It also on the CD, it's very easy to adjust. Click it, put it where you want it, pop it back and you're done. Um, it also will not come popped open unless you happen to adjust it too loosely. Like in a case like this, just playing here, this is too loose. That might open up on any boot, including a CD. But you tighten this thing up correctly to a snug point. In this way, this boot is not going to open up. You've all seen many riders at Supercross or locally riding around with boot buckles flopping around. If you notice, they're probably not a CD rider. Another very innovative feature and exclusive for CD is the fully replaceable bolt-on sole system. This is, uh, each of these screws are quarter turn in variety. They're not machine screws. You flip them a quarter turn, peel the sole off, you can replace it with an all new sole and get a second life out of the boot. That's one thing CD is very much known for and has a great history of longevity. The lifespan on a CD boot is, uh, depending on the rider's use and maintenance level, of course, is considerably longer than most others. If you compare it to boots that are made in the Far East, between its technical um, construction and the materials it used, this boot should last twice as long as most other boots out in the marketplace if properly maintained. So it's really uh, quite a value, dollar for dollar. Uh, we're very proud of it, have been for years. and. Uh, if you're thinking of uh, starting a boot company yourself, this is what you'll be copying. So, thank you.